It's that time again. It's time for another Saturday night special where we talk about everything rock hounding related. And first, first of first in business tonight. Well, I think the hobo gloves are are retired. Uh, I'd like to thank the channel member here, James, for my new heaping pile of gloves so I don't have to, uh, well, I don't have to wear the rags anymore. I appreciate it. Thank you so much to just uh, break break into these. Oh, man. It's like uh, putting on a, well, a new pair of gloves. <laughs> Ah, uh, and you guys don't have to look at my uh, my gross hands or my gross gloves now. So thank you, thank you so much, James. Well, we got a couple of uh, well, we got some fun rocks to look at tonight. You know, we're keeping it keeping it light here, right? Uh, last couple of Saturday night specials, we talked about some more well serious topics, I guess. We did some good rock hounding this week. Uh, fossils, the fossil video. Um, so here locally in Spokane, Washington, we have a number of really cool locations to find, to find fossils at. Um, I, and I'm continuously keeping my eyes open and finding new fossils, new areas with them. So here we go. Of course, uh, this is the one that Sarah found. I like found like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's usually that's usually the way it goes, right? Um, she finds the good finds. So we do plan on heading out to uh, Stone Rose Interpretive Center this summer, and we'll be heading out to the Fossil Bowl in Idaho. So that if you're into fossils, you know, uh, hit the notification bell so you uh, you stay tuned. Um, I'm also I've been. Attempting to find a new Graptolite location when, uh, I guess I can call him a viewer of the channel, a friend at this point, reached out. He's much, much more knowledgeable on fossils than me. Um, you know, we're talking about Graptolites and stuff. And, you know, I think that it, it's one of those things where it's kind of like, um, I guess, the perk of the job here, if you if you will. Like, the email correspondence is... Uh, nothing short of incredible. I learn so much. We we're um, talking to talking to him and um, talking about fossils. These are the Graptolite fossils from the Medellene Falls area. Um, I'll put a video links up in the, the corner here and down in the description. But um, you know, I knew this was a Graptolite. Can I see it close there? I didn't know what. And uh, I'm going to butcher this, so I'll probably end up putting it on the screen. Uh, gosh. You know, if you want to feel bad about yourself, start pronouncing things on camera or trying to do quick math in your head. Uh, <clears throat> pseudo trigono... Wait, pseudo tri <laughs> trigono graft light. Whew, okay, sure. Yeah, you know, I probably screwed that up. Um, we also, we hit up the... That spot in Kettle Falls, which is awesome. And there's like, here's that little cat, like calcite crystal coming out of that seam there. Um, so uh, a couple of things. There's a lot going on with this, okay? Now, if you didn't see the video, um, there's a road cut right inside of Kettle Falls that you can get this material. And this stuff's really cool, like... You know, it fluoresces really nice. Um, it, it makes for a great display piece. I would love to, uh, you know, spend some more time up there. Even the little pieces, like, look at that. That's so cool. That is so cool. Well, um, I got a couple of really nice display pieces. Now, we have a couple of things going on here, right? We have both uh, some calcium carbonates, um, different forms of calcite, zeolite um little pieces of quartz crystal so it's an interesting location to say the least um and some zeolite which i uh, i'm starting to learn more about zeolites and we're going to get into that here shortly um zeolites are hard 
<laughs> I don't know where else to put it. The zeolite group of minerals is is a tough one for me. Um, you know, they're often very small. They're very fragile. And it's, I feel like it has a high bar of entry to kind of get into. I did order a book. Uh, the collect, I think it was the Collector's Guide to Zeolites. So I'm looking forward to that coming, reading it, and... Um, learning you know um i'm not good at a lot of things in life but i will say that i'm really good at picking a subject and massively digesting it and just kind of i'm, I'm good at learning i'm good that's what i'm good at i'm good at learning stuff so speaking of zeolites now <clears throat> i believe it's possible that, that is what i have here do you see that in that basaltic vug now, this is a little bit of a preview. I don't want to get too into this just yet. Um, but with the help of a, another person here in Spokane, um, I found that piece back in, I want to say December. Um, I believe what we, you're looking at here is cow site, not cow site, not C A L C O W, cow, cow site, um, which is in the zeolite group. Um, it's a harder zeolite. It's a 5.5 on the Mohs hardness scale. And I relatively new. I mean, it was first described by James, James Cowell, um, in the 70s. And, you know, specifically uh, was found off of Near Road outside of Global, not Global, Global, <laughs> Global, Oregon. Uh, speaking of global, uh, uh, you know, I used to live in Oregon and you'd always see these, these people with uh, bumper stickers. Um, and it was like, where the heck is global Oregon? And it was out by the, uh, former, uh, nuclear, pff, I can't even think of it. The former nuclear power plant that was right, right there. Um, kind of out that way, you know, um, on the, on the wash, on the, Oregon side, <laughs> Oregon side of the river. Uh, yeah, also don't do geography quickly uh, on camera. It'll make you look bad. Anyways, that place has a ton of different zeolites. Um, also, down uh, by Wheeler, like down by Tolmuck, Oregon, there's a, a really cool quarry that has tons of zeolites coming out of it. I never went there. And if you go to the Rice Museum in Hillsboro... Ugh, Hillsboro, Oregon. Uh, they they have a ton of zeolites that were collected out there, which uh, I think at some point here I need to do a Willamette Valley trip, visit some friends, do some rock stuff out there, and uh, maybe hit up some of our old haunts before before we made these videos. You know, uh, a couple more a couple more rocks to show you. So, um, Matt, my buddy Matt. He um he sent some petrified wood for me to look at, and uh you know we can look at that right here. So this stuff is uh very cool. It's a hundred percent petrified wood. Um, it's it's interesting. I wanna um I'm gonna do some cutting here and some polishing to try to like bring out some of that grain in there. Um, or else this one is pretty cool too. It's like. Bre brecciated dang i can't pronounce nothing today uh we got some like quartz in here or like some little chalcedony seams which is very cool i would love to see what's going on inside this i think that would be really really cool um so i have that coming he sent some other ones too but we're just gonna sh we're gonna look at that like that's very cool um <clears throat> Also, uh, I tried something a little different uh, just to kind of see. So the, the Loon Lake Copper Mine, which if you haven't seen those videos, go ahead. They're right up there. Um, it's no longer accessible to the public. I threw up a short unlisted video on the community tab. Maybe you all saw it. Maybe you did it. I don't know. But, um, you know, it's, it's interesting because... Well, you can't go there anymore. It was uh, the timber was sold on it and it's being logged currently. And then it changed hands. And if you've if you've gone to Home Depot in the past, well, I don't know, year or so, and you've looked at the price of wood. Well, wood is 
expensive now, very, very expensive. And people are logging as fast as they can and reaping those rewards. Uh, yeah, I think we're about, about to call it here. Um, so real quick, um, next week, I have a very fun video. If you have been in the market for lapidary equipment and you're kind of looking at that used stuff, you're going to want to watch this. I know it's not going to be a video for everybody, but, um, well, I'll just say it. Uh, I fully did a, did a full rebuild on the big oil slab saw and I uh, filmed the whole thing. And if you are in the market for a big old oil slab saw, well, it's going to be the video for you, you know? Um, I think we're going to leave it there. Maybe the label here. Let's look at this real quick. Oh, so cool. Light show. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. We'll leave it there, people. Um, thanks for coming by, hanging out with me. I hope you're having an excellent, excellent weekend. And I will... Catch you on the next one. Take care.